Okay everyone, I promised you a um, test drive video and here it is. It's Friday, we're backed out of the garage, we're kind of warming up here and uh, we're just going to run it up and down the street see if uh, the front bearing howl has, uh, has gone away. Um, there's still problems in the back as you can hear when we back up. Um, I've either got a brake rubbing or the, um, the bearing back there in the driver's rear. Um, is screwed um, it still turns but it's making noise um, so it is what it is we'll get it we'll get that replaced but I wanted to see uh, if the front bearings um, the difference they made um, you should notice a not noticeable uh, difference in the quietness so here we go let's back her up I'll be ordering wheel bearings all the way around. That horrible howl. Really good. You can definitely tell that we've tightened everything up up there with the new parts. The steering wheel's a little cocked, but. Breaks really totally apart on it. Well, she lied, you know, she stops. Okay, so here's what happened. Um, apparently this Detroit Axle axle um, had something wrong with it. I, I told you we had problems with the C-clip um, clipping inside the transmission. Um, apparently it didn't clip. And uh, what happened was is the drive axle actually came out of the transmission when I turned hard to the left. 
And once it disengaged, the car just no more worky. It, it didn't go. Uh, and we lost uh, a bunch of transmission fluid all over the road. Luckily, uh, we were able to tow it back into the garage with the Suburban and um, get it up on the jack stands again and get it fixed, uh, hopefully for good this time. And here's what we did. We took the end off. This is the, uh, the axle assembly that actually came out of the car. We took the end off of it because I know that that end fits in this car. It came out of the car. Um, it didn't have much wear on it. So we took the band off. We took the cup off. And we cleaned it out really well. And we re-greased it. Um, I had bought some uh, CV axle grease and a, a band clamp in a boot kit the other day. So we cleaned it out and we actually installed it in the transmission and it definitely went in a lot farther and it definitely clicked a lot harder than this axle cup ever did. So then I took the rest of the Detroit axle axle, which is all brand new components, all brand new uh, needle bearings and, and the universal joints. And I uh, married it to the original drive axle cup that actually came out of the car. And then we uh, we put a band clamp on it and clamped it down. Put the car back together again for like the 16th time. And um, it's holding fluid. It moved forward and back under its own power. And that's where we left it for the evening. I've got... Uh, a piece of styrofoam under there, white styrofoam, to catch any drips, um, to see if there's any leaks. Um, when I got back to the garage, I should have looked before I drove the car, because there was actually a big puddle of uh, transmission fluid under the car, and that would have been my first clue that something was amiss. So anyhow, so far it, we're looking good. Um, there's no drips under there, and it's been about two hours since I finished. Um, We'll take it out tomorrow during the daylight when my wife is home. Uh, today I had to rely on a neighbor just happening to come along that uh, would actually be behind the wheel of the Impala while I towed it with the Suburban because otherwise it was going to have to be my 13-year-old daughter. But we got it in the garage. We got it um, put back together again and lesson learned. Um, I still don't know what's wrong with that the way that Detroit axle is machined. The driver's side fit in just fine. The driver's side's not leaking. The driver's side didn't come loose. Um, might have just been a little defect in this one. But anyhow, it, it essentially does have a new drive axle on the passenger side, except for that one little piece. And I'm, I think I'm, I'm good with that for right now. And uh, we'll see how it goes. But anyhow, I promised you a... Uh, test drive and we got a test drive in even though it wasn't successful we'll we'll do another test drive tomorrow and hopefully it'll go a little bit farther but the good news is the bearing noise up front was gone um the bad news is well, i still have the bearing noise and, and the stuff in the back going on and we have to take care of that so it's a project in progress and uh, once we get this mechanical stuff knocked out we're going to start on the body work and the paint so Thanks for tuning in today. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you're so inclined and the notification bell so you, you don't miss out on any of this exciting stuff like me getting stranded down the block. Anyhow, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Peace.